hey guys welcome back to my channel thank you for watching thank you for liking and commenting i am going to do the graphical method as it relates to the slope intercept form where you are given an equation and you are asked to graph it or you're given a line you're asked to identify the slope and the y-intercept all right guys so it's very important that we know a few things and i keep reminding you that in the form y equal mx plus b m is the slope which is rise over run and b is the y-intercept then this is where the line cuts the y-axis all right guys so let's get straight into it so we're given the equation y equal 4x to 4 over 3 sorry x to graph so we know the general form is y equal mx plus b and m here would represent the 4 over 3 x is independent and so right here we have no we are not given the y-intercept but we know it's going to be zero all right and so we know the coordinate for every y-intercept is going to be what zero comma b and so since as b here is zero said to be zero zero which is our origin all right and so from the origin we can identify the slope by saying the numerator would be the rise and the denominator would be the run so this is a positive four that means from your y-intercept you're going to move four units upwards so it's a one two three four and from this point you move three units to your right how do i know because that's a positive three and so positive mean it goes to the right so one two three and so you basically connect the points to the the points to form your line and that's basically so this is your line y equal 4 over 3x plus 0 or just 4 over 3x and that's how we do it guys let's move on to one where we are given the line for us to find the equation of the line so first we do is to identify the y-intercept remember the form is y equal mx plus b and this represents the rise over the run this can be drawn horizontally or vertically and so for the y-intercept right here this would be y-intercept and so we can identify that by counting it so it's one two three four so this is our point four so already i know that b is a positive four we can choose any two points on this line to give us our slope so i'm going to choose the point to identify first and this point so remember this is going to be rise over run so from this point i'm going to go one two three four so i'm going four up and for the run i'm going one two three and three it will be in the negative direction so it's a negative three and you can rewrite your x so remember once the denominator of a fraction is negative the entire fraction is negative so this could be written as y is equal to negative four over three x plus four and that's basically how we do it guys you could have chosen to do the to form your your triangle below the line by saying the same rise mean you're going down so it's one two three four and the run horizontal you're moving one two three which will give you back the same answer so it's up to you guys how you want to draw the triangle whether above or below the line let's go for another one so for this one we are given the line and we're asked to find the equation of the line in the form y equal mx plus b so right here we see that our x our b value or the y intercept is at the origin and once it's at the origin we know that x equals zero y equals zero so for b i know that it's going to be zero so it's time to find the gradient you can choose any two points on this line 
So I'm going to be choosing the point to identify and another point. So remember M represented by rise over run. This rise could be going up or going down. The run could be going to the right or going to the left. So it's up to you guys how you want to do it. So I'm going to choose this point. So I'm going to go rise first. It's 1, 2, 3, 4. So my rise is 4. My run is 1, 2, 3, 4. It's also 4. So I got 4 over 4 for my M value. If you wanted to go, if you wanted to go um, down, then you go um, to the right. That is also great. And because I went 4 in the negative direction, this run is going to be a negative, um, negative 4. So basically, y is equal to negative 1x plus 0, or does y is equal to negative 1x. So y is equal to negative 1x. So this will be the simplified version. Let's try another point on the line, guys. Let's try this point and this point. All right? So remember, rise, go up first. So you rise, so it's 1, 2. So it's 2 up. Let's go for the run. It's going to be 1, 2. And you're going in the negative directions so and negative two. So I'm put it right here. So y is equal to rise two. So it's two over run negative two x plus zero because that's where the y axis um the the line cuts the y axis. If you simplify this guy, you're gonna get y is equal to negative one x plus zero or y is equal to negative one x. So it's that this answer is the same as this answer. So any two points you choose on this line, guys, should give you the same answer. And so once you're given a line to identify the equation of the line in the form y equal mx plus b, you first identify your b value, which is your y-intercept, and then from there you can choose your slope. Or if you want to do the slope first, it doesn't matter. But I think it's easier to identify the y-intercept first. Then you move on to the slope. And remember, the slope is y rise over y two y one over x two x one. So it's rise over run, and the rise it can it can either be vert, um up or down, positive or negative, and the run can either go to the left or to the right, negative or positive. So guys, thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. Bye.